closest we ever get to being superheroes. But that's still going. It's a real testament to grit. How long has he been like this? His conscious level is impaired. Ah! The world's toughest race. Good morning, Reedy. Nice to yeah. meet you, mate. Yeah, Dom, nice to meet you too, mate. Very excited. Looks like we're, uh, we've got a big week coming up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I definitely feel like it's going to be a stretch from what I'm used to. Uh, usually I'm out there, you know, three to five hours a day practicing parkour, but it's more of like a skill-based practice. So when you go out, you don't train like the whole run. You go out and you'll train like bits and pieces of it. So I've been doing parkour for... 14 years now and I'm doing a full-time professional paid by Red Bull to to uh, to do it and uh, yeah it's a, it's what I love to do I love to move other than that that's that's pretty much it we're just gonna yeah have a lot of fun with it <laughs> mate we are it sounds um mate I love what you do it sounds very interesting it's uh it's pretty much complete opposite of what I can do I'm 41 years old and been a lifeguard down at Bondi there for about 20 years and over that time, um, I found a love and a passion for endurance racing. Uh, as part of my job, I have to I have to keep physically fit, obviously, to, to be doing rescues and stuff sort of every day. And and uh, but through that, I, I sort of through my training, um, I found other training that I really enjoyed doing, which is which is swimming and running and bike riding. And I've seen some of the stuff you do, and the you know you jump off four story buildings and stuff, and manage to land on your feet like a cat. And it's uh, it's very impressive. So I'm, I'm really excited to, to challenge myself to something really tough like, uh, like what you do. And um, we probably potentially be able to take part in what Amazon Prime are actually about to, um, about to show the world in their, in their world's toughest race, which is- Imagine crazy. that, imagine that, that'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> 60 teams um, from over 30 countries all uh, competing in the Eco Challenge over there in Fiji and I'll tell you what if you're going to do a tough race over in Fiji wouldn't be a bad place to do it would it? Absolutely not I mean it's going to be a ridiculous landscape it's gritty it's unpredictable and it's going to be taking place during autumn so they've got a bit of season change to worry about there as well yeah I mean they got non-motorized so it's all on foot so but we're doing really is like a replica of what they're going to be doing on the show yeah well I guess just challenging ourselves to something tough because at some point in that race I guess you're going to experience something that you know you potentially are worried you might not even be able to conquer so um speaking of that what what, what have you got for me okay well this week it's not so much like a formalized training plan because parkour itself isn't incredibly structured what we're going to do is have some base goals and then we're going to work on the fundamental techniques throughout the week so we'll start from scratch and we'll try and build a foot from the original day one and on day seven try and get that progress we're also going to teach you how to land safely and roll that's probably one of the biggest things in parkour. We'll also try and learn a climb up, which is coming up and climbing up over a wall. What 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 have you got entailed for me? I'm, I'm excited to see. <laughs> <laughs> What's your swimming background like? Uh, my mum's a swim coach, so okay. I have a, a decent background in swimming, but yep. I will say I haven't actively practiced swimming in probably three to five years. I think we'll probably have to take it slow at the start and then it'll pick up. Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of the training plan I've sort of got you doing um, is I've just got you just doing a little bit of easy sort of swimming and running on the first two days. And then we're going to sort of build into like a little bit more speed work, um, either in the pool or we can do it at Clovelly or somewhere where there's an ocean pool where we know we're going to be quite comfortable. Um, and then a little bit of running, a little bit of fart leg running. Have you ever done that kind of running? Not, not sure of the term, no. Well, it's just, I know it sounds interesting, but um, we're actually going to do a mono fartlet session, which is, it's just interval. So it's, it's um, start off with a 10 minute warm up and then it's uh, 90 seconds on, 90 seconds off, times two, and then you roll into uh, 60 seconds on, 60 seconds off, times times four, and then what is it, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and then 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off, times four. And basically the idea is to just, um, just build a little bit of speed when you're on. And then even when you're off, it, it is a recovery, but it's an active recovery. You don't want to yeah, slow it down too much. Continuing through the motion, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. I'll All right, so, uh, so it looks like we, uh, we're gonna be getting this done this week. Um, keeping yeah, track of our training via Instagram. I'll keep track of what you're up to and uh, make sure that I'm kind of mentally prepared for the for the challenge we're going to take on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited. We'll uh, we'll uh, we'll see how the training all plays out, and I'll see you in a week. Yeah, mate. See you in seven days.
Thank you very much. The world's toughest race.